Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? This is episode number 20 of the BK J Mac TV podcast experience. 20th. This is the 20th episode. I can't believe it. Number number 20. I never thought that I'll get to 20 episodes. Uh, it's just amazing. It's been a blessing to get to number 20. You know, and this episode is special to me. It's kind of close to the heart. It's the it's the student loan debt system. Um, back in April 2018, I made my final payment was my student loan. Um, at the time, my student loan had grown to fifty thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars, and um, what happened was. I was paying it off over the span of five years while I was in school, you know, working my butt off. And I was working a job um, that was paying me $9.50 an hour to start, which was like crummy as hell, especially after having an associate's degree under my belt. I was working for low pay and I was working tremendous amount of hours. And let me tell you, in the five years, I sacrificed everything and I paid all $50,000 back to both federal and private student loan system. I gave up owning a car, buying nice clothes, nice sneakers, basically my youth my at the time while I'm in college. I gave that all up to pay off my student loan debt. I I didn't leave not one penny behind. I paid it all off. So to hear that President Biden, you know, the person I voted for for president of the United States, instead of reforming the system, he instead gave student loan forgiveness up to $20,000 to each student. $10,000 if they were private student loans and $20,000 if they were on the Pell Grant system. And I looked and I was angry. I was upset. I was distraught. I was like, I couldn't believe that President Biden gave such a big handout to these students that basically, you know, that was like, they that I guess they needed help. You know, if you made under 125000 you know, I made, I, I definitely make under $125,000. I didn't get no government handout. I didn't get no Pell, I didn't get, I got Pell grants. You know, but I didn't get no student loan forgiveness. You know, I used every pennies, every dollars that I got to pay for my education. And this is after Barack Obama had rolled back the Pell Grant from 18 semesters to 12 semesters. Remind you, remember, Lyndon Baines Johnson, our beloved near great president of the United States, established, helped establish the Pell Grant in the 1960s because he knew how important it was for people of color to go to college to go to college after high school and he knew it would take longer for people of color to finish college in times of great economic stress so because of the so-called economic hardship that happened in 2008 which I'm not responsible for but Wall Street is certainly responsible for because a lot of people were going a lot of people were going back to school colleges they couldn't pay up all those monies so they said you know what the republicans was like yeah let's roll it back from 18 to 12 semesters and barack obama you know one of the things i did not like about him he caved to the republican demand and basically cut back the pell grant from 18 to 12 semesters which basically affected me personally and because of that decision, I had to take out loans after loans after loans to just stay in school so I can graduate with my bachelor's degree. Um, thank you, Mr. Former President, for that one. But anyway, um, after taking out all these loans, just to try to stay in school, hoping that one day, 
you know, there'll be a bright future for me in whatever industry I get into, which is particularly film that I was studying because I wanted to start my own production company. I wanted to make movies, you know, but it just didn't happen. It didn't happen. And after I made my final payment, after I gave up my youth to pay back these student loans, I'm still struggling in a crummy paying job. And there are people out there and there are people out there getting a government handout to say, hey, you've been forgiven. President Biden forgives them for their student loan debt up to $20,000. You know, I never thought that I would find myself agreeing with the governor of Florida saying that, don't you feel like a sucker? Ron DeSantis said that, said that kind of, do you feel like a sucker? And I honestly do feel like a sucker because maybe let's say I didn't pay back $20,000. Let's say I held back $20,000. And I only paid thirty thousand instead, and I held back twenty thousand dollars. Maybe I would have, I would have gotten my debt forgiven as well too. That twenty thousand dollars would have impacted my life in such a big way. You know, I could have had clothes, this, this, and uh, nice shoes, car. You know, it could have changed my life and for the better. Twenty thousand dollars instead of just paying my student loan debt with it, I could have did something totally different with it. You know, I understand that there are people, there are folks out there that are in a disadvantage when it comes to being behind on their student loan payment and stuff like that. But at the same time, it's fiscal responsibility. And let's be honest, the system, the system needs to be reformed tremendously. I don't believe the government should give these handouts, you know, without some condition attached to it. Like becoming a teacher i mean already they have programs like that already in place but they should make it more stronger and i think they should make a deal with the private industry as well because let's be honest the the entity that does most hiring is the private sector so i i fundamentally believe the private sector should partner with the government to help individuals who have to take out these loans, these high cost loans, because honestly, they're trying to get a job in the private sector. They're, they're working hard to get a job in the private sector, a high paying job. So they're taking out these loans to go out to these colleges, these universities, these private campuses in order to get these, in order to get these future jobs of, of tomorrow. That's if it's even guaranteed to them, but they're taking out all this money and they don't realize that the interest rate that they're paying for it is gonna be so high, you know? It's it's horrible, This it's a setup. It, the system is a setup, you know? I understand why Biden did what he had to do. There were people crying out in his party to do something. He made a campaign promise, you know, to help students out who are in trouble. But the system, but handing out my handing out a credit of that magnitude is just it's just not the way to go. Honestly, it the system needs to be reformed. It shouldn't be the government erasing your debt. It should be the private entity helping you reduce your debt to a level where it's payable for you from you and your employer, not the government. I'll repeat again. It should be a collaborative effort between you and your employer to help reduce your overall uh, payment requirements. And mostly it should be a collaboration with you and your employer that should be able to pay that debt down because the employer really benefits when you go, when you take out that loan to spend to get a job for them, to work at their company, you're maximizing that company's productivity and profits by becoming so strong and, and so educated that uh, you're you're helping the company you're, you know and the company should invest in their employees when it comes to repaying back student loans right now the it swells up to one trillion dollars I'm gonna tell you right now one over one trillion dollars are in student loan debt right now and that's because people are taking out these loans and they aren't able to really repay them back there's no real there's no real system that's really structured in helping students 
pay back their debt. And because of that, they get caught, they get got. It's like the, it's almost like the housing bubble in 2008. You know, these predatory banks were making out these loans to people that just could not pay them. And what happened? There was a bust. And because of this bust, the country went into a deep recession and many people lost their jobs. So the student loan system is like that. It's just like that. You know, a lot of these predatory lenders are going out there and they're lending these kids tons of money and not knowing if they can pay it back. And they're charging them these ridiculous, ridiculous interest rates on that type of money. And and that's why the debt is so high. By the time they got out of college, they're like, oh, my God, what did I put myself through? It's, it's crazy. It's really crazy. And this is this type of predatory behavior by these bankers, these lenders. It needs to it needs to be fixed. Again, they call it socialism, where oh, if the private employer shares the resources with their employees to reduce their debt. No, it's not socialism. It's called enhancing and magnifying capitalism. The goal of capitalism is to enhance your profitability and to maximize your profit. Well, guess what? The, the best way for an employer to maximize their profits is to ease the burden and the debts of their employees who worked so hard, who borrowed so much money to make sure they become the best sales for your company. So let's be honest. These companies need to give back. They need to give back to their employees. They need to help them, help them reduce their student loan repayments. The system needs to be set. And these interest, a, a small, low interest rate need to be set for these for these student loans. Um, so these students could be able to pay them back. Opportunities need to be created so students could pay back their debt without having to sacrifice their youth. You know, college is an opportunity, is a time in someone's life that went at their age. And it shouldn't be taken away because they're worried about debt on how they're going to repay it back. It shouldn't be, that should not be the case at all. Students should have the opportunity with every avenue, with every resource presented to them, should be able to pay their debt effectively without it infecting their lives in the long term. I don't want to see a student loan debt being there for 10, 15, 20 years. Absolutely not. It makes no sense. They profit. These blenders are profiting, are profiting off the livelihood of students who may not, of former students that might, not, that might not be able to pay it back in their lifetime, and that debt carries on to the next person in line or their estate. It needs to be done. I'm urging President Biden to fix this. I'm urging Congress to fix the broken student loan system because, honestly, my friends, it's broken. It's predatory and these lenders are going to continue to do it over and over and over again. Again, it's not socialism when you share the resources. It's capitalism when you want to when I when you want to see a company maximize its profits by helping its employees who were once former students pay back their debts because they were working hard. They were taking out money to be the best selves for the company that they're trying to represent. Yes, I believe, I strongly believe the system needs to be reformed. And I believe America agrees with me as well. Taking it from my personal experience, paying all that debt, I took all that money and I paid it back because I didn't want to get got. I didn't want to get got, but I gave up my youth and now President Biden has given out a handout. And what, in two, four years, they're going to ask for another handout? The government can't keep giving out handouts. But you know what the government can do? They can mandate serious student loan reform changes that fixes the system, that addresses the in the inequa- the inequality, the predatory practices of lenders. So students of particularly students of color who are in the inner city won't be saddled with these debts for a long, long time. 
Everybody deserves a second chance, but not like this. It should be do- it should be done in a context where the private business got to do right to their employees who are once former students. That's the way to go. That's the way you make effective change, and that's the change I'm supporting. Um, thank you for listening to this episode number twenty of this podcast experience. I hopefully I didn't turn anybody off on this, but this is from my own personal experience. Um, student loans, the system needs to be fixed and needs to be reformed. Giving out um, student loan credits is only gonna create is only gonna make the problem worse. It needs to be fixed from the inside out. And the only per- the only people groups that can do that is Congress and the executive branch. So that way, if they can mandate that private employers partner with employees to ref- to basically create a collaboration system where the debt of the student is reduced to the point where it does not affect the livelihood of the student. Thank you, thank you for listening. Peace, love, always one. Thank you.